We are standing at the parking garage at 309 South Tejon, which is the garage associated with the Russell Building, which is just to the north of us. Last year, we looked at this garage and determined that it had some potential structural concerns. And we watched it and in, invoked the help of an engineer to explain to us, should we do some repair on the garage? It appeared that it would cost about $500,000 to do all the required repairs and that if we were able to do those repairs, we'd extend the life of this parking structure for about 10 to 15 years. Because it's valued at about $4 million, it seemed to make sense to do that. When we lose a garage, uh, it's a major inconvenience to, to getting employees into work on time and, and some of them come and go throughout the day, so it's a real challenge if they park several blocks away. And it's a major expense when we have to shut down a garage to do a major renovation or, or tear it down completely and rebuild. Some of the problem areas the parking structure exhibited were minor structural concerns that should they have developed in two to three years without any repair, we would have been forced to close the garage from anybody parking. So that risk forced us to make a good, compelling case to repair the garage and extend its life. The Board of County Commissioners approved this project on the 31st of March of this year. And now we're in September, so it has been almost six months that work has progressed in this garage on all levels, mostly on the top, but as well down here. Correcting drainage areas, correcting some of the pier construction, structural issues that we found, took a long time, about six months, and the garage has been in the hands of the contractor the entire time. I am, I'm really pleased to see how they made the repairs because concrete is particularly hard to deal with when it starts crumbling. And, and so I had a lot of curiosity about how do they make these so they're structurally sound. And, and I'm really pleased with the work they've done. We hope to have most of the people back, about 80%, back in this garage on the 15th of September and the balance around the 25th of September.